नाम एंड नाक हेल्प टुगेदर बाय पेप्टाइड चे सो आई टोल्ड यू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ग्राम पॉस्टिव एंड ग्राम नेगेटिव सेल वॉल सो ग्राम पॉस्टिव इज फोर्टी टाइम थिकर ग्राम नेगेटिव इज इनर एंड इट हेज गॉट अ आउटर स्लिपर्ड ले ओके नाउ ग्राम पॉजिटिव थिकर एंड थिनर एंड मैग्नीशियम रेबो न्यूक्लियस एंड थीको एक एसिड इज प्रेजेंट नाउ गोइंग टू द आउटर पार्ट ऑफ द बैक्टीरियल सेल when back to everybody when bacteria come across unfavorable condition unfavorable condition hostile condition they undergo sporulation spores are spores are resting stage of bacteria not a reproductive stage of bacteria one spore give rise to Rise to one vegetative forms, unlike in uh, fungi, where sporulation is for reproduction. In bacteria, it is for uh, protection against the hostile environment. Now, depending on the spore, uh, spore can be central, non-bulging. Spore can be central, bulging. Subterminal, non-bulging. Subterminal, bulging. and terminal bulging and it can be a free spore depending on the arrangement of spores bacteria are classified everybody depending on the arrangement of spore they are classified into central non bulging central non bulging central bulging Subterminal non-bulging, sub uh, subterminal bulging, terminal bulging, and this terminal bulging gives rise to what is called as drumstick appearance. This you see in Clostridium titanic. Clostridium, write down. Clostridium titanic. terminal bulging you see in case of clostridium titan clostridium titan so in case of clostridium titan okay now uh, spores are stained by modified 1% zinc linsen staining Spores are stained by modified 1% zeal linsen staining. Modified 1% zeal sin zeal linsen staining technique. 1% modified zeal linsen. So everybody, will repeat with me. Spores are non-reproductive, non-reproductive resting stage of bacteria. They are formed under unfavorable conditions. and they are not reproductive stage and they are not reproductive they withstand a very high temperature and they are only destroyed by autoclaving or hot air wall and depending on the arrangement they are classified into central non bulging central bulging subterminal non bulging term subterminal bulging central non bulging terminal non bulging terminal bulging and it can be a free spore also spore when it comes across favorable condition spores get transformed to vegetative forms spores gets transformed to vegetative forms so they are resistant resting stage of bacteria they are they are called bomb shelters for bacteria 
they are formed in an unfavorable condition. They withstand desiccation, drying, high temperature. The example of uh, spore bearing organisms are the spores which are formed in aerobic condition. Pronounce aerobic, aerobic, anaerobic. Aerobic means in presence of oxygen, bacillus, anthrax. Bacillus, anthrax. In presence of oxygen, bacillus, anthrax. Anaerobic. In absence of oxygen, genus genus Clostridium, genus Clostridium, genus Clostridium. So genus Clostridium has got three species. Clostridium melchi, Clostridium melchi which gives rise to Gas gangrene, Clostridium melchi, which gives rise to gas gangrene, Clostridium titani, which gives rise to titanus, and Clostridium botulinum. Which gives rise to severe type of food poisoning. Clostridium titani, Clostridium melchi, Clostridium botulinum. Gives rise to food poisoning. Gives rise to food poisoning. Gives rise to food poisoning. Now, From here, we move to the, these are all bacterial appendages. Now, we move to the another structure, which is covering the bacterial cell wall. When it is well formed, it is called capsule. When it is well formed, it is called, when it is well formed, it is called capsule. When it is well formed, it protects bacteria against phagocytosis. It protects bacteria against phagocytosis. When it is well, no, it's not well formed. It is called as when it is not well formed. It is called as loose lime. When it is well formed, it is called as capsule. When it is not well formed. When it is well, well, when it is well formed, it is called capsule. When it is not well formed, it is called loose slime or slimy layer. Capsule is a protective uh, covering of the bacteria. It protects against phagocytosis. It protects against phagocytosis. Okay. Uh, phagocytosis is one of the non-specific defense mechanism. Who discovered phagocytosis? Huh? Huh? Who discovered it? Who is the scientist who discovered it? Who discovered phagocytosis? Engulfed bacteria is called uh, phagocytosis. Who discovered it? Eli Machinkov, Russian. Eli Machinkov. He discovered. The example of uh, Capsulated organism are remember with mnemonic cap, not C A P cap, K A P cap. Okay, K for Klebsiella, A for anthrax. and P for pneumococcus.
pneumococci. These are capsulated organisms. In uh, pneumococci, it is made up of carbohydrate. In pneumococci, it is made up of carbohydrate. Whereas in anthrax, it is made up of protein. It is made up of protein. Capsule cannot be stained with gram stain. It is stained with a special stain. It's called as uh, not special stain. It's a negative stain. Negative stain is done by India Ink Preparation or Nigrosin. Negative stain is done by India Ink Preparation or Nigrosin. India Ink Preparation or Nigrosin. Negative staining, the background gets stained and uh, organism look hollow. In negative staining, the background look hollow. One more fungi because we are teaching uh, the CBME, Cryptococcus neoformans. Cryptococcus neoformans is also capsulated. Cryptococcus neoformans is also capsulated. Before the, before the discovery of uh, antibiotic and chemotherapeutic agent, we used to practice what is called as serotherapy. For example, patient recovering from pneumonia, we used to take the serum and inject into the acutely ill patient. It was called as serotherapy. So nowadays it is abandoned because lot of viruses which get transmitted by serotherapy. Hepatitis B, Hepatitis C, HIV, and then some oncogenic viruses also get transmitted with the uh, now, uh, capsule, when you put specific anti-serum, when you put capsule, when you put specific anti-serum, capsule swells up. Capsule swells up. It is called as capsular swelling phenomenon. It is called as capsular swelling phenomenon. And it is also called as Neufeld Quellang reaction. It is also called as Neufeld Quellang reaction. Neufeld Quellang reaction. So, repeat with me capsule is an outer covering of bacteria. It is, it is on top of the bacterial cell wall. When it is not well formed, it is called as loose slime or slime layer. And it cannot be stained with gram staining. It is stained by negrosin. In the neg negative staining, background background becomes black and organism look hollow. Example of capsulated organisms are Klebsiella, anthrax, pneumococci and cryptococcus neoformans cryptococcus neoformans okay now uh, when you add specific serum specific anti serum the capsule swells up capsule swells up this is called as capsule swelling phenomenon or neufeld quellang reaction this is called as capsular swelling phenomenon or neufeld quellang reaction capsule swelling phenomenon now moving further down other appendages of bacteria are There is small hair like, everybody, small hair like structure, write down also, small hair like structure, small hair like structure, which arise from the <coughs> cell wall. These are called fimbria. These are called fimbria or pili. They are not organ of locomotion. They are not organ of locomotion. They are organ of adhesion. 
they are organ of adhesion they help bacteria to get attached to the mucous membrane of the host cells infected human being they produce gummy substance gummy sticky substance called adhesin gummy substance called adhesin <coughs> with this they get stuck to the mucous membrane of the host cell the important to fimbria are important properties are adhesion adhesion and second is conjugation adhesion and second is conjugation adhesion and conjugation so what is conjugation then f plus fimbria meets with f minus fimbria the chromosomal material transferred from one bacteria to another bacteria this is called as conjugation the f plus meets with f minus this is called conjugation or sex reduction f plus fimbria meets with f minus fimbria makes it it gives maleness to the f minus fimbria through which chromosomal material transferred from one bacteria to another bacteria this is called as conjugation the phyla is called as sex phyla so pl please remember fimbria everybody fimbria or small hair like structure made up of protein they are not, not the organ of locomotion they produce gummy substance called adhesin there is special fimbria called sex fimbria which gives maleness to the bacteria it meets the xf minus fimbria and forms a conjugation tube the process is called as conjugation f minus fimbria passes chromosome to f minus fimbria f plus fimbria passes chromosome to f minus fimbria this process is called as conjugation or transduction okay now one more structure flagella 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 is organ of locomotion flagella is organ of locomotion the flagella or the organism moves from unfavorable condition or hostile condition to the favorable condition the organism moves from the unfavorable condition to favorable favorable condition it is made up of protein called flagellin it's made up of protein called flagellin depending on the arrangement of flagella the bacteria are classified as a trichate monotrichate peritrichate lobotrichate and pitrichate so depending on the arrangement of flagella bacteria are classified into 
bacteria are classified into a trichate monotrichate single flagellum at one end peritrichate flagella all over the body tuft of flagella at one end or both end that is lophotrichate and amphitrichate single flagellum at both ends example of a trichate is all cocci all cocci this is cholera bacilli Entric organism. This is Spirilla minus. This is Pseudomonas. Depending on the arrangement of flagella, bacteria are classified into a trichate, monotrichate, peritrichate, amphitrichate. Flagella, flagella is 0 0.02 micron in thickness. They cannot be seen under by microscope or to use in the laboratory. It needs to be special staining. It is called silver impregnation method. Silver impregnation method. Make it thick and see it. So there is a direct method of demonstration of flagella and indirect method of the demonstration. Most commonly used methods, uh, direct method and indirect method. Direct method, you can observe flagella in electron microscope face contrast microscope, dark ground microscope and you can stain with silver impregnation method and uh, look for the movement of the organism. Indirect method consists of uh, wet cover slip preparation, wet cover slip preparation, take a drop of broth, broth is liquid culture, okay, broth is liquid culture, take a broth culture, put a cover slip, if the organism is motile, the if the indirective conclude that the organism is motile. Then we use a special uh, preparation called hanging drop preparation. Hanging drop preparation. So it has got one cavity slide and we put a cover slip and drop of that broth on the cover slip and look for the motility of bacteria at the edge of the drop. Ah, oh, sleepy. So, edge of the drop, look for the motility of bacteria. So, there are three types of motility you see in hanging drop. One is true motility. The organism goes, hit the edge and comes back. That is true motility. False motility, betla bacteria goes and gets stagnated at the edge of the drop. And uh, Brownian movement, it is a vibratory zigzag movement at the, uh, due to the bombardment of water molecule, fluid molecule in which they are suspended. So other method, you grow on the blood agar, it shows swarming growth. Blood agar, it shows swarming growth. You grow on the blood agar, it shows swarming growth. Then you have a motility medium, that is called manitol motility medium, semi-solid uh, agar. You inoculate with straight bud. If it shows zigzag motility, it is motile. If it shows only straight growth, then it is non-motile. Then there is a YouTube and Craig's YouTube. YouTube is a you fill up with semi-solid agar, inoculate organism here and recover from here, then it is motile. In Craig's YouTube is one larger one with both ends open, you inoculate here or here and recover from here or here, then the organism is motile. So these are the various methods of uh, uh, motility. Flagella is organ of locomotion, it is made up of flagella. Depending on the arrangement of flagella, we classify. Okay? Then uh, cell wall, I said, uh, uh, NAM and NAG held together by peptide chain. It gives rigidity, density, and flexibility and protects from environment. Now, coming inside,
mesosome. This mesosome coming inside mesosome. It is it described as a tube inside the tire. Tire is the cell wall. Mesosome harbors all respiratory enzyme. It is considered as the lungs of bacteria. Mesosome is considered as the lungs of bacteria. Mesosome is considered as the lungs of bacteria. And it also controls the inflow and outflow of the inorganic and organic matters and it helps in the binary fission by forming the partition it helps in the binary fission by forming the partition generation time is defined as ability of organism to reproduce or make it simplified time taken for one binary fission time taken for one binary fission remember as 20 20 20 okay 20 minutes for all organisms 20 minutes for all organism 20 hours for tuberculosis 20 hours for tuberculosis 20 days for mycobacterium leprae 20 days for mycobacterium leprae 20 days for Mycobacterium lepre. 20 days for Mycobacterium lepre. That is generation time. So, mesosome is uh, uh, cytoplasmic membrane. Sorry, this is cytoplasmic membrane. The rugosities in which it is thrown out is this is cytoplasmic membrane. These are mesosomes. Mesosomes are the lungs of bacteria which harbors the respiratory enzyme. The rugosity or invasion from cytoplasm, it's called as uh, mesosome. They are considered as the lungs of bacteria. Now, coming to the cytoplasm, it is made up of inorganic, organic colloidal material, and it has got a nucleus, bacterial nucleus. Bacterial nucleus is made up of single molecule of double stranded dna single molecule of double stranded so it has got amino acid adenine guanine thymine cytosine atgc adenine thymine guanine cytosine adenine thymine DNA it is deoxyribose sugar in RNA it is uracil in RNA it is uracil <coughs> now what is the function of uh, bacterial nucleus bacterial nucleus is a storehouse of genetic information storehouse of bacterial nucleus is a storehouse of genetic information and preparation of the progeny daughter cells preparation of the progeny it is the preparation of the progeny next it has got a small small hair like um, small granular structures are called RNAs. What is the function of RNA? It is a storehouse of protein which are required for the bacteria. Factory for protein preparation. And it also acts as when it is tagged with it also acts as messenger RNA. Messenger mRNA. Messenger RNA. Other than this, other than this, there is everybody extra chromosomal genetic material present in the cytoplasma bacteria, not essential for survival of bacteria. Use additional properties of drug resistance and toxicity. 
This is called as plasmid. Plasmid. Extra chromosomal genetic material present in the cytoplasm bacteria, not essential for survival bacteria. Gives additional property of drug resistance called plasmid. Okay. When plasmid gets integrated into the cytoplasm, this is plasmid. Okay. When it gets integrated into the nucleus of bacteria. as a pro virus it is called episome it is called episome it is called as episome other than this we have inclusion bodies can be made up of carbohydrate protein and lipids there is a special inclusion body which is made up of polymerized metaphase phosphate which helps in the identification of bacteria it is also called as volatine granules metachromatic granules it is present in organism called corynebacterium diphtheria present in the organism called it's also called as volar granules volatine granules babe sarnes granules volar granules polar granules and babe sarnes granules So that ends the morphology of bacteria. Next time we will take sterilization. Actually, we have to take 36 additional classes. Three are over. Another 33. Okay. See. So every week three class takes. Next month 12, and the next month, I think by end of another two three months we'll finish.